Among the few African Americans who were at the Republican National Convention was Bishop Al Walker Jackson Sr. He is a conservative politician, Christian minister, and lawyer who was unsuccessful as a Republican Party nominee for Lieutenant Governor of Virginia in the 2013 election. Africa 54's Vincent McCory spoke with him on the arena floor. Yes, yeah, so, sir, uh, what brings you here, or what makes you want to be here, Bishop? I love my country. Uh, I want to see America's future be based on the Judeo-Christian principles that made us the greatest nation on earth, principles of freedom and opportunity and individual responsibility, faith in God, the importance of family, hard work, entrepreneurship. Uh, I think that this convention represents those values, and I want to be here to support them. Are you saying that uh, the current administration has not uh, promoted those values? And do you, are you saying that uh, Mr. Trump is the person that would promote those particular values? I'm saying that the current administration abhors those values. I think that they have a whole different set of values upon which they want to build this country. Moral relativism, for example, that there is no ultimate right or wrong. We just make it up as we go along. We can redefine marriage. We can redefine family. We can kill unborn children in the womb. As long as we feel good about it, no problem. Um, we can sort of skirt the law. I can do what I want to do. I don't really need Congress. I mean, those things violate the spirit upon which this country was built. George Washington said that it is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey his will, to be grateful for his benefits, and to humbly seek his favor. This president, this administration, they're so far from that that it's not even, you can't even begin to describe it. So yes, and no, no I do believe that Donald Trump is so much closer to those values, although he's not a perfect candidate for me, but he's a whole lot closer to those values in the present administration, yes. You say he's not a perfect candidate. What is, what is it you wish he could do differently, he could say differently, uh, that could be different about him to make him the kind of a perfect candidate that you would love to vote for? Well, for me, if he had expressed from the very beginning that faith in God is central to his life and that that is a guiding principle for him, uh, I would have felt a lot more enthusiastic from the beginning. Uh, I, I'm not sure he thinks in those terms, and, and that certainly gives me pause, because I think what America needs more than anything else is a return to God. I think America needs to acknowledge that without God, this country will not remain a great nation. Um, but I think Donald Trump is at least listening to evangelicals who believe that. Uh, the other candidate from the other party could care less what we think and has a whole different vision for the country. So, so based on that, yeah, I'm supporting Donald Trump. So you're going to vote for him anyway? I'm going to vote for him because I think that he deserves a chance. As I've said many times, to sum it up, Hillary Clinton gives me no hope whatsoever for the future of this country. Donald Trump at least gives me some hope, and I'm going to build on that hope.